So the Albada has been out for about two months now and in today's video I want to talk to you about the pros and cons with this drone. Who is it for and uh, who will benefit from this drone and should you go out and buy one? So let's jump straight over to the pros. So first is the size. This is only 410 grams which is much lighter than the DJI FPV drone and because it's so small and compact compared to the DJI FPV drone you'll end up taking this more places due to the fact that it's much easier to pack and it doesn't take up that much space at all like it used to be before. So I've taken this on numerous trips along with the Mini 3 Pro and it's a combo I prefer more than the FPV drone and the Air 2S because it's so easy to travel with because of the size. Both the Mini 3 Pro and the Avada is such small and compact drones. And the Avada being so small fits perfectly in my travel bag along with the new and smaller goggles too. FPV controller and the motion controller. I've had this with the Mini 3 and the RC controller, my main camera and even the Air 2S all in one single bag. And because it's so small, it's with me every single time and every single trip I go on. And I'll be able to get more shots with this than I used to do before. So the size and weight of the Avada is a huge advantage for this drone. And a big advantage with the Avada is also the battery life. I've been getting about 30 minutes of flight time when I'm flying in sports mode and normal mode when pushing some distance as well and having enough battery to come home and land the Avada. And in manual mode, doing full throttle with high speeds, climbing mountains, dropping fast with the high and low altitudes, I've been getting about 11 minutes. So that is really good and gives you enough time to capture what you want and also have some fun. As for custom FPV drones, you get about three to six minutes. So you get twice of that or more with the Avada. So the battery life of the Avada, I have been impressed with. And the Flymore kit is really good as well. I like how small and portable this charger is and that you can actually charge it now with USB type C, which makes it even better to travel with. So I've been using this with the DJI car charger and it charges really fast. And when I go for hikes or need the batteries to be charged on the go, when I don't have access to a wall or a car charger, I use my Anchor PowerCore 3 Elite power bank, which can blast through these batteries to 100% a couple of times. For this battery, it takes about 30 to 40 minutes for a full charge, depending on how much battery is left when you plug it in. The cons with the charger is that it charges in sequence. So it will take a little bit of time before all of your batteries are fully charged. But overall, I'm loving the battery life of this drone. It's really nice to have that amount of power and battery when you go out to fly some FPV. The Avada also got a camera boost, but is it actually any good? To be honest, I quite like the image coming from the Avara and I find it to be more than decent. I've been quite impressed with the result coming from this sensor and it also has a slightly wider field of view than before so you'll end up gathering more footage than you used to do with the DJI FPV drone. The stabilization here I've also been impressed with. We have rock steady and horizon steady which keeps your horizon level and I think this is one of the features I like the most so so far. So I don't need to add any additional stabilization in post on this. You can get the gyro data and use that for uh, more stabilization uh, if you want to do that. But to be honest, I don't think it's needed. The Rocksteady and Horizon Steady is more than enough to capture some stabilized cinematic videos. Now flying the DJI FPV drone, I normally put a GoPro or the Action 2 on top to capture same footage but with a different camera. So at times I found the footage coming from the DJI FPV drone being only average. But with the Avada, I don't need to. I feel more confident with the footage I capture with this and shooting in DC in like color profile with manual settings and some ND filters, the footage looks really nice coming from this drone. So these clips I'm gonna show you now are shot in manual mode in this in like color profile with an ND filter and a bit of color grading using the DJI Avada.
Now, because of the small size of this drone, you would fly this in places you normally wouldn't fly with the DJI FPV drone or any drones for that matter. The propellers are much safer with the prop guards and keeps your drone from being heavily damaged if you hit something. Now, I've been crashing this a fair amount of uh, times now and it's holding pretty good. It doesn't feel that robust when you put your hands on it though, uh, but it can actually take a hit. So after all the crashes that I've had, I didn't think this would last this long, to be honest, but a big advantage to this drone that it can, you know, it's actually robust. The camera also has a protection to it. So if you hit something face on, you will have the cage protecting the camera as well. So the overall protection of the Avada coming straight out of the box uh, is a huge, huge advantage compared to other FPV drones. I've had to change the propellers a few times, but that's basically it. So the durability of this drone is awesome and it allows you to fly closer to something like trees or get through small gaps, which you wouldn't do with something like the DJI FPV drone, which has the propellers sticking out on the outside. So a huge advantage to the Avada. It's much safer indoors uh, or around people and objects without risking anyone getting severely injured because the props are nicely covered by the prop guards. So the biggest advantage I've found with this is the durability, performance and the overall safety of this drone. So let's talk about the flight modes and controllers. The Avada can be flown with the DJI FPV controller, which opens the possibility to fly in manual mode as well as normal and sports mode. The motion controller, which comes with the two combos, can only be flown in normal and sports mode and is by far the easiest way to learn and start flying FPV. Uh, using the motion controller, the drone will move and turn with your wrist as you're holding this. And it's really responsive and allows anyone to fly without having any prior FPV. TV experience at all. I would really like to see an RC combo where you can get the Avada and the FPV controller. I think that would be awesome and help more people get into FPV. For now, you will need to buy the FPV controller on the side if you're lucky enough to get your hands on it because these are selling out fast. So let's talk about the cons of this drone. It's the placement of the SD card. It takes some time to get it open and you always need to make sure that it's closed properly so you don't risk damaging your propellers. Now, when it comes to the camera, I would really like to see some different frame rates like 24 or 30 FPS. I mean, the Avada is not going that fast. So having 30 or 20 F4 FPS to make our footage look more cinematic shouldn't be a problem at all. So please DJI make a firmware where you allow us to to fly the Avada in 24 and 30 FPS. That would be really, really awesome. Now, other than that, I have only good things to say about this drone after using it for eight weeks. The replacement of the propellers, the prop guards, the cage, and everything is so easy to do yourself. And they're also reasonably priced. The battery is great with about 15 minutes of flight time and the size of it makes packing your bag so much easier. So if the issue with the prop wash that some people are still having is getting ruled out, I think this is gonna be one of the top selling FPV drones for anyone wanting to get into FPV flying or for those who's already there. And being compatible with the goggles version too, you only need the motion controller or the FPV controller and the Avada if you already own a pair of goggles V2. But the Avada is really fun to fly and it's been used more now than my DJI FPV drone and I highly recommend it. If you wanna check it out, I'll leave a link down in the description below and I hope you found this video helpful. Let me know in the comments below if you got any questions related to this drone. And as always, Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.